We know who this is. This is Hoover. Gotta be Hoover. J. Edgar Hoover. Look at that face. What a vile creature. The untouchable. Literally the untouchable. The untouchable. I know a little bit about the history of this guy. A vile creature. Look at this portrait. What a absolutely brilliant, brilliant portrait captures what this monster represented. Just look at him. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Cheryl's commenting. Would have loved to have a hint of a shoulder strap showing with this. Yeah, he was a cross-dresser. I think that's what Cheryl was referring to. What a portrait. Wow, wow, wow. Let's check out the text. Let's check out the text. FBI, FBI, Hoover looks the same. More power around more, yeah. Marilensky, yeah, looks the same. Private, yeah. Uh, Jim Rowley, the true nature of the FBI, yeah. And it ends the same. We're going to read the original. Okay, let's read the original. Card number 34. J. Edgar Hoover. FBI Director J. Edgar Hoover hated the Kennedys and refused to cooperate with their crackdown of organized crime because, according to him, organized crime didn't exist. Yet he spent his vacations gambling at Del Mar Racetrack and relaxing at the Del charo motel notorious hangouts for top level mobsters and both owned by his pals the texas Mer merchantsons and is off and he often met privately with mafia prime minister frank castello and has been alleged that hoover had a secret hit squad of mob assassins recruited with castello's help the day after Kennedy died, the FBI taped gangster Charlie Ingalls telling his boss, Sam Giacana, quote, two months from now, the FBI will be like it was five years ago. They won't be around no more, end quote. Hoover's power resided in his confidential files. During the Warren Commission investigation, for instance, he collected derogatory materials on commissioner members and their staff. He also investigated the sex lives of prominent people, particularly homosexuals. But ironically, it is rumored that Hoover's own alleged sexuality, homosexuality, may have subjected him to blackmail by gangster Meyer, Meyer Lansky. Private corporations, government, and media were infiltrated by ex-FBI agents who, while no longer on the payroll, remained loyal to Hoover. This may shed light on the true roles, roles of ex-FBI agents like Guy Bannister, William Harvey, Robert uh, Mahu, Jim Garrison, and Secret Service Chief James Rowley. The true nature of FBI links to Lee Oswald and Jack Ruby have never been revealed, but they certainly were ties between the FBI and both men, and by controlling the investigation, Hoover was in a position to obscure the trail of the assassins. 
just imagine what the United States would have looked to look like now in 2023 if Hoover was not in charge for the amount of time that he was and if he was actually investigated and prosecuted for his crimes what a different world we would be living in right now what a monster what a monster